everyone, it's me, Emily Jeff Cakes, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a scary Halloween pumpkin patch in Bloxburg. So, once your game has loaded, make sure to select your plot. Ooh, 24 hours until I get my next daily reward. I'm sending out a big happy Halloween to you all. Make sure to tune in tonight because I'm giving away 10,000 Robux worth of prizes. So before I do my signature pre-build dance, make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop me a comment if you like the videos. So I love this dance. It is called the um, Celebrate Dance. Oh, just went into build mode by accident there, guys. Sorry. So... What I'm going to do now is change the plot name to Pumpkin Patch. After all, it is Halloween. I've been wanting to do this build for so long, but here we are doing it now. But first, what I'm going to do now is do the outline of my pumpkin patch. I'm going to use the tall woven fence. So let's just find it here. I'm so excited for tonight. Make, do make sure you go onto Roblox and follow me at Emily Jeff Cakes. So I'm going to speed the next bit up a bit because I don't want this to be a three hour long video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to find a fence gate. Which one should I pick? I think I might go for the long grass one, I'm not sure. I was looking for the woven fence but I just couldn't find it so I used this one instead but now I'm going to colour everything orange because that's the Halloween theme orange and green but now I'm going to do the outlines of the pumpkin patch um, and colour the fences white because I don't know I just now I'm going to do the grass and the floor I'm going to probably colour it brown not green Just gonna do the same on the other other side too. I use manual placement. What do you use? Automatic or manual comment? Now I'm just organizing the pumpkins out in lines. This is my favorite part with the decorating, especially with even when I'm making houses. I don't don't really like it. Oh, I put a scarecrow, a big Halloween pumpkin. And now I'm going to colour them. It took me a lot of tries to think which colour to use, but I don't think this one's very good. And now I'm going to colour it that colour. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm just going to add a few decorations like scarecrows, pumpkins and stuff in between the pumpkin patches. This is my second favourite pumpkin. My absolute favourite pumpkin that they added was the three stacked pumpkins. I love it. But I've just done the second one with a happy ghost. I love that too. And now I'm going to add a cauldron with a witch next to it. it took me a long try to get which angle for the witch. But my one of my next videos might be opening my pumpkin patch. So now I did a few of these fences. I don't really like them. But um, I know, I think I changed them too. So the hanging lights are my favourite, but I had to delete the fences to put the hanging lights in and then put the next fence in. I love the hanging lights. You guys should definitely use them. And just another trick, always use linen for lighting. It's nice and warm and cosy. Don't use bright white lights or yellow or anything like that. And... Um, yeah, and also one of my next videos will be some tips and tricks and what stuff you should use and stuff like that because I just wanted to help you guys out to make sure you have the best houses and stuff. So, yeah. I will be doing a lot of updates, um, builds on Bloxburg, give giveaways, and sometimes just normal videos that I would like to do. I'll be posting week 